pops up now. So Zach can mute it. Oh. That means it's going to. There we go, mute it. Okay. Um, hopefully, the sound settings will be better this time. And the game will not be quite so loud compared to me talking. Or to anyone else who happens to hop on via Skype. Um, admittedly, the title screen is significantly quieter than the rest of it. So. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. Let me go just start a random battle, because I think that's about as loud as it gets. And if it's... Uh, How's your league game going over there? <laughs> Not good? <laughs> Pause this down here, it's actually kind of distracting. There we go. So yeah, the battles are particularly loud, so I'm gonna go just jump into one and go kill something real quick, and then you guys can tell me if it's still particularly loud. Because I can only turn it down a little bit more. Like, out of 100 volume, I've got the game at 2. So I can turn it down one more step from what it currently is. So if uh, keeps enough, you want to give me a hand there and let me know just how this level of volume is following that battle there. And if it's still too loud, I'll turn it down one more step. And if it's still too loud, I'll try and figure out a separate solution. All right. So what you guys didn't see since the last time I streamed this game was uh, I went ahead and cleaned off all my shiny rocks and picked up a number of gems. Um... I went through the rest of the dungeon and cleared out all the frozen guys and picked up the extra stats. Uh, dropped by the inn and um, just rested up. Uh, just a bunch of stuff that's kind of boring to watch. So what I'm ready to do now is inform the mayor or whatever that uh, the tunnels have been cleared out. So that's where we're at in this. and. Chioxter may be joining me at some point for uh, some voice acting or something like that, but for now I'm just gonna do a pretty regular playthrough. And of course if anyone wants to jump in you're always more than welcome. Yeah, I am back safe and sound. Chief, eh? Oh, Chief? Is that, is that our new nickname for him, is Chief? Did you save a bunch of money on your car insurance by switching to Geico? Wait, what? No. No, I defeated the demon, dude. That's what I'm doing here. Oh, yes! Yes, right. I thought I sent you to your death. <laughs> You're alive. Oh, okay. I like how it actually has that little variable there that tells you how many you rescued. Ah, now, I think I rescued all of them, so hopefully that's the best benefit I can get for rescuing them. So that's pretty cool. Alright. So let me see if I can move on to the can-can the route. Route. Alright. So I've got two quests. Uh, oh! Mog's got to interrupt me there. Hold your fucking horses, Alex. Do you? Well, where are we? Let me guess. Somewhere in Accu City. I am just shocked by that news. <laughs> it's hiding somewhere. The southern exit. Yeah, I tried going there the last time. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Okay. So I'm pretty well done in this town. The one thing... <laughs> Shock and horror! The one thing that uh, I need to keep an eye out for is prickly seedlings in the can-can route, which... I bring back to this village. I'm gonna bring back to Polly. And then in Accu City is where I'm delivering those roses. Oh, who the hell is that guy? What? What do you want? Oh, it's Ernest. 
That's me. Are you, are you humming at? <laughs> so willingly volunteer to do the trials all on my own. It's like, yeah, I wasn't exactly willingly volunteering. Oh, cool. More items? More items? Yeah, that'd be cool. A sword? An Accu grab bag. What the hell is that? <laughs> Just a random piece of equipment. I know the Magister kind of cheated you out on some equipment. Alright then. Well, let's see what it does. I wanna... What random MMO generated kind of shit am I gonna get? Tier 2 weapon or armor. This will be my first tier 2 piece of equipment. What do I get? Level 2 R sword. Alright. Well, I'm already using the level 1. So, let's see. 15% chance. And what is the level 1? 12% chance. So, that's... That's a little bit of an upgrade. The attack, I think, should be a pretty decent boost. Ah, uh, this... This song. Ah, oh, good, I could actually use more Guam herbs for my antidotes and potions. Oh, yes! The other thing I did off-camera that you guys didn't catch was I went and leveled up my alchemy some so I could make these, um, potion pluses. Which are basically a potion, but you can apply it to the whole party. Uh, the other thing I went and checked on was actually back in the hometown. I looked at how much a bed would cost so I could sleep at inns for free, and it was like four or five thousand gold. And, uh... I don't imagine I'm going to spend more than that at an inn at any point in the game anyway, so... I may not end up buying a bed. <laughs> Sorry, it's my own. <laughs> so what I... Okay, Pyra... Oh my god. Go... <laughs> you hush now! <laughs> Sorry, it just sounds so inconvenient. Yeah, I, I think that's pretty accurate, Keats, and I'm going to get uh, an upgrade of a pot lid and it'll be... A super awesome cast iron skillet. So I'm looking for a Pyra, a Gobi, an Orunda, a Slibio, a VVT, and a Fioror. So six demons I'm looking for. Alright. I'm also looking for a prickly something or other. Is that something I fight, do you think? This, um, a prick. A prickly seedlings is what just found in the can can route. Doesn't say it's a monster necessarily. So I wonder if if it's a plant or something that I can collect. What's up with this dude? I have a, a pyre, I think, or pure. This guy here, but I don't have a pyra. So similar in name, but not quite the same thing. So we'll see what this guy does here. There's my VVD. Huh. It's Vivi from Final Fantasy IX. It might be nice to have a black mage in my party, actually. Let's yeah, so see what he does. Does that? Well, yeah. Do I have? I don't really have anyone with magic attack, right? Yeah, okay. Well, let's see what Vividi does. A saboteur. So he's like uh, Vina then. So he can cure a medium amount of HP. That'd be nice. I don't have anyone who does that yet. He'll spark damage over time. So an additional dot and poison. So poison over time and spark damage over time. Wow. Okay. And he's got the capability to heal a little bit. So he's a good dot, but I've already got a dot from Rovo's Bleed. I guess it kind of depends, do I want a tank character? Oh, Vengar? Yeah, I guess it kind of looks a little bit like Vengar, but I guarantee to you Vividi is, is Vivi from Final Fantasy IX, the Black Mage. I like having Rovo around. And I like combining him with Pyre's Vampiric Embrace. Yeah, 
And more dots would be nice, but... I don't know. I'll come back to that thought. We'll see, we'll see. Shiny rocks I'll deal with later. And so much stuff to gather. I don't even have any recipes to craft anything with them. No rest for the wicked. What the fuck is this? A slipio. Alright then. Yeah, I got him. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe one of the demons might drop the seeds. What's MP fusion do? see what that does here. MP fusion. Use TP to restore the MP of one party member. Alright, well, now I don't really care about having Choco in my party, because that was the only thing I was going to do with him. A synergist. He's got a big drain. Mago's already doing that. Spark damage. Alright, I'm not too worried about Slibio then. So yeah, let's kill some of these random guys then and see if I can't get some prickly seedlings off them. Goblinoid and a feral beast. Let's, uh. Let's just unholy strike on the goblinoid. Let's go ahead and magoviscerate the beast. My Rovo fuck up the goblinoid, and we'll just demi on the goblinoid too. We'll just use all my cool stuff. Tier 2 treasure chests. Might be out of my, uh... Might be in my interest to kill these guys anyway, just for new equipment. Iron Claw. Well, Mago's kind of my bigger damage dealer, I guess. Yeah, Mog is OP. Ooh, with the purple quality, no less. The same attack. What is he currently wearing? Oh, the attack. So, same attack, but more luck and more magic attack. This would probably crit more often then, right? Yeah, no shit. And I've gotta fucking kill one of my better party members at the very end of the game there. Alright. What about Robo? I don't really need more magic attack on him, I don't think. More agility might be nice. But I kinda want him to still be able to do some damage, so I'll just keep it as is. See if there's anything else I can run into that would give me, um... Prickly Seedling, I think it was. Ah, we'll just... Why don't I Radiance, because he can Lance it. We'll just spam the attacks here, and we'll see how it goes. Look at that, even Mago's regular attack does just a shitload of damage. Alright, nothing yet. So I guess for now I won't worry too much about it. Is he losing health when I walk? No. I guess I'll just let the bleed fall off in battle then. Ah, I think that must be the prickly seedling plant. That's depressing how many of these trees we've cut down. Ah, here we go. Got us bound about how awful humans are. Yeah, exactly. Get off your fucking high horse. <laughs> 